Hey guys, it's Audrey with this crazy channel here. And um today and today I'm going to do a video as you can see in the title. Um I'm going to do how to put a clarinet together and how to make a sound out of it. So yeah. So let's get started. So First two pieces are these two. And you want to take this piece with the thumb rest on it and put it this to this piece. Like this. This is called the lower joint. This is called the upper joint. So you just slide those on. Ow. I'm actually going to quote grease them so that that will be enough. Okay, so when you have that all set, you just like a shooty board. It might take some time to figure out which piece goes together, but it goes together like this. And how you know is there is a little key right here and a little key right here. Those go together. You kind of just push them. So they go together. See? Okay, so we have that. Now, alright. This is called the bell. So you put that on. that. No, I mean, this is the barrel. This is the bell. You put that on the end. I know, it doesn't look finished. Well, that's because it isn't yet. We need to put on the mouth part. Okay, this is really annoying. The mouth part. It looks like this. Well, there's a cover to it. But you take the cover off, you can just put it to the side. And then these these little knobs on it, you turn those to loosen it, and then you take it off. And then you get one of your reeds. If you don't have a reed, then you can't make a sound out of it. So you get your reed, and you lick the thinner part. It doesn't taste the best, but it doesn't taste bad either. So after you get that on, you put it in like the hole. There's like a hole in the mouthpiece. And you put the silver piece, that's what it's called, on like that. And you tighten them up. And then to get the mouthpiece on, you put it over the barrel. Might need to like push it on. Actually, I forgot. You don't put the mouthpiece on and the silver piece on until you put the mouthpiece on. So you have to put the mouthpiece on. Squeeze it on there. And then you put the reed on. And then you put the silver piece on. And you turn it up. Just like this. You might want to be careful because I just scraped myself. But, alright, now to the sound bar. You, you face it like straight down. And you put your teeth on the top. And like bite down. And you squeeze your cheeks. Then you like blow super hard. Like that. So, 
to, to like key it is just how you hold a recorder. So you put your left hand at the top and you cover these three like, holes. And you put these at the bottom. But right now I just learned this. So this is E. Wait, no. <laughs> this is E. This is F. And this is G. Those are the three notes. And yeah, so that's how it goes. I'll repeat it again. So, I'll tell you what everything is. So, the bell. The lower joint. The upper joint. The barrel. The mouth piece. The reed. And the silver piece. You can also use it. As a flute. You can't really even make a sound out of it. So, yeah. I think it's cool because you can kind of pretend you're playing the flute. There you go. Okay, so that was it. That's how you put it together. And now I'm going to show you how to put it apart. So, usually I start at the mouthpiece. And you just unscrew the silver piece. You put that aside. And then you take the reed off. Then you put it in the little thing it came on. From the skinny part first. And you just slide. Whoa. It might bend a little bit. I don't think. Alright. You don't push it in too far. You push it in enough for you to get that. So it looks like that. And there's like holes in it so the air can get out. And then you get the mouthpiece off. Then you put the silver piece on the mouthpiece. And you put the cover on the mouthpiece. And you put it in this little space where it goes. Alright, and then you take the barrel off. And you put that in the little space it goes. Now you're going to swab it. You have this little cloth, and you put the string in first. And then you just get the string in there, and then some of the string comes out. And you just pull it through so it gets all that yucky spit out. You can swab the barrel. Usually the spit comes out into the cave. But you only have to do this, like, Two or three times. Do it every time after you use the clarinet, though. Then you swab it. It doesn't usually take nine minutes, ten minutes to put it together. It usually takes about two minutes to put it together. But I needed to show you, so it took about five minutes. So after you've done this a couple of times, you just can put the instrument down somewhere and the clothing part you fold in half you fold in half again and you just take the string and wrap it around right now it's on your thumb secure and you just rip it off and you put that in where the mouthpiece goes so yeah after you put that in you take off the upper joint and how you know where to put it in your case is these keys. The upper joint goes in the first slot. Okay? Then you take off the lower joint and the bell. And the bell will be kind of kind of easy. And then there's the thumb rest. There's a big hole. So you can put that there. And you just Close it up, and there you have it. Ta-da! Boom. This is what inside of it looks like. Oh, whenever you open it, make sure the label is up. This is what it looks like. 
I can name everything. Alright. Ready? Whoa, okay. Wait, it's kind of hard. Let's move the camera somewhere. Wait to here. Oh. Joint the lower joint, the bell, the mouthpiece holder, the silver piece, and the mouthpiece, the barrel, the court grease. The reed and the swab. You can use the reeds over and over again, but you see how it's kind of like bent? That's because I've been using it a lot. And the clarinet is actually really fun, so I would recommend it for you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was useful for you. watching. Bye.